All right, welcome to a video. This is another tour down under. This is 2020. This is the latest video. This is this is fresh off the press. We have Holmes's bike here. This is the Ridley. Now Lotto is another team that's going full disc, full disc brake. So the riders do not have a choice. Uh, the sponsors have said we want to sell more new bikes. We're going to put you guys in disc brake bikes. That's how it is. This is an SRM power meter. And uh, this bike is uh, Holmes's bike. It's quite a large size, isn't it? So this is basically looks like 56. It is basically the new thing now is the disc brakes. The pros have no say in the matter for most teams. Movistar, Valverde, Valverde missed the flight. I was hoping to get a Valverde interview. Valverde is a is a, a beast, isn't he? Valverde, we we're talking about Valverde. His longevity, his career longevity is amazing. You know, he's been through a lot, and he's still there, and he can still win any time. You never know, Valverde. We have John from GCN. John's a legit dude. Also, fellow bike geek. We have some behind-the-scenes shots here you may have seen. This is at the Tour Down Under Village. Media passes all around, and uh, disc brakes are all around as well. This is the BMC, and this, being a bike mechanic, would be a real hard job in 2020 you know this is so much work you, you can just see you know the, the mechanics don't tell me but you can just see the extra frustration with dealing with the new stuff it is you gotta learn it's a tough job man you gotta learn new stuff there's new hacks to learn you spend so much time learning new things and then you know, there's, there's new things coming out again and so it's just a lot of faffing around you know, these new bikes are an absolute nightmare to work on, and it's all brands. It's it's Canyon, it's Trek, it's Specialized, it's BMC. It's any aero bike. It's not a brand thing. It's just any aero bike with discs and internal cables. There, it's just it's a, it's a real pain. Like if you want to change the stem length, put a few spaces in there, it's a real pain in the rump. A pain in the rump. That saddle there is quite level. And you won't hear mechanics talking about this. You won't hear psych pro cyclists talk about this because they don't have freedom of speech understandably because the sponsor's like hey we'll give you free product keep your trap shut this is how it is this is this is the deal so i come along i rock the boat because i'm quite opinionated and uh, no one tells me what to do in terms of you know what i share and stuff like that in terms of you know just uh consumer awareness etc but i definitely rock the boat and definitely a few people out there don't like these videos i'm putting up lately they're getting their feathers ruffled <laughs> but i just rather share my opinion and if you want disc brakes, get disc brakes, but don't think that the pros love it. The pros aren't choosing disc brakes because they're like, they have a say. They don't have a say. If you're a specialized rider, you have no say. You are told what bike to ride, when to ride, and that's how it is. So it's just part of the deal. You know, It's just part of the deal. That this, this guy here has no choice in the matter. And you can tell they're not really stoked to ride a heavy bike with brakes they don't even need. Yeah, you can just tell they're not stoked. They're a bit like, oh, you know, you know, it's, it's just the vibe. Um, that's just that's total honesty. You know, you can tell when someone's stoked to be on the bike. They're like, fuck, this is sick, man. This is sweet. You know, and you can also tell when someone gets on the bike and goes, yeah, okay. How, how can how can we make it better? <laughs> how can we make this thing better? These are the camp hag, uh, you know, hydro calipers, and they look like something from nineteen ninety eight nine. An old Coda Cannondale brake, and this is Kluger. Kluger, Kluger. He's a big guy, a big unit. So it's uh, you know, this is being a pro cyclist would have its pros and cons. You know, it. it I remember my uncle told me a few years ago. He goes, "Oh, you know, the, the cyclists don't get much choice." Blah blah blah. And I didn't really think much of that. But in 2020, that's really, really, you know, relative to relevant to the discussion. You know, the pro riders don't really have much say. They're just told this is what you gotta ride and this is how it is, you know? Put up or shut up. And so you know, I'm repeating myself here, but don't think people are people are ask me what the pros think about their bikes. I'm just like you, think, you can't you know, like you can't that's not how it works. If you're a sponsored rider, you have to respect the work the 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 you know the rights and the, the deal of people giving you free product or paying to use your product you have to respect that so you can't ask a sponsored person what do you think of this like what do you what do you think they're going to say you know they're, they're not going to tell you the truth they can't tell you the truth it's not part of the deal all right so that's where i come along 
and I ruffle a few feathers, you know. Some people say, why has Harley got a media pass, blah, 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 blah. He's just going to talk the truth. You know, the people who hate the truth, um, you know, take the truth. <laughs> What's the saying? Those who hate the truth, you know, was, oh, we'll work it out. There's a, there's a quote there. Natasha, could you, you, you got Wi-Fi over there? Yeah. Could you look up uh, truth, hate quotes? Someone said a good quote the other day. So this is the bike here. Beautiful paint jobs, though. I do like the paint jobs these days. The paint jobs are better than 20 years ago. We'll give it that. That's nice, shiny paint jobs. Those who hate the truth. What's the saying? No one's more hated than he who speaks the truth. No one's more hated than he who speaks the truth. There's another one. Uh, those, those who see truth as hate, hate the truth. That's the one. Those who see truth as hate, hate the truth. So that's the deal. Wait, can you say that again? Those who hate, those who see truth as hate, hate the truth. Yeah. Is that the one? Well, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Type that in. See what comes up with that. So this is the Venge. And this is Schwarzman. And this is a Tarmac. You can basically tell the difference because typically different stems and uh, a little different down tube, but mostly the fr is Jewish Shargon. Basically, the, the main differences are that the Venge has that flat seat post and the Tarmac has more of a, a rounded D-shaped seat post. That's how you tell the differences there. And I've ridden these SL6 disc Tarmacs and uh, nice, but nothing compared to the SL6 or the SL3. The SL3 is probably the best Tarmac they ever made. BSA bottom bracket, Super comfy, super light, stiff enough, you know, just rolls really, really nicely. The SL3 Tarmac is, is my favorite Tarmac ever made. Uh, the SL4 is good, but the BB30, you know, hit and miss there, hit and miss there. So BB30 manufacturers like because it's cheap to make. There's less threading, there's less problems, it's just cheap to make. And I'm pretty sure this LA uses the same seat post as the Venge. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. The color, it is... Uh, it's interesting, it's, it's not a bad colour, it's a unique colour. Be a pretty cheap colour to make, but uh, also use less resources, so environmentally a good one. And a specialiser donating $150,000 apparently to the bushfire uh, bushfire charities, so that's pretty cool. That's worth a mention there. Uh, these are the specialised carbon bars, which uh, look like a nightmare if you had a crash. This is an old Trekamonda, this isn't a... Uh, Sponsor friendly is running Shimano, but hey, it's good to see an old bike being used and it's got zero offset Zero offset posts there and uh, the Amonda one of my favorite bikes and they, they nice to ride and this is an Amonda disc, which is uh, That's that's gonna be a pretty unique bike. It's a big size. It's a disc. It's a zero offset post There wouldn't be many of those getting around. That's a big seat height and it's got the old Tegra old Tegra chain rings on the Durace crank. So keeping it budget, keeping it tight. It looks like a well-used bike there. We like seeing well-used bikes. That's very good. We do like to see that. BMC. BMC. Some chain rings on there. And it's, you see, you're seeing a mix of components. We're seeing Shimano with the rotor, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. They look like a bit of a bat wing, bat wing crank. Not bad looking. I do like the paint jobs in the BMC, That just the, the black nude with a bit of white logo, it's pretty classic. Specialized made that popular back in uh, 2010 with their Project Black S-Works Roubaix and S-Works Tarmac Project Black, Black, remember those? If you want to see more footage from Twitter Under, let me know down below what you'd like to see. We do have some rider interviews coming, all right? So we've been paying attention to what you wanted. There's interviews coming, and uh, can you have a guess? Who will be the first pro rider on Duran Riders channel for an interview? I don't think we've had one, like a full interview yet, but this will be a good one. Anyway, see you on the road, live from Twitter Under, under and shout out to uh, Gray's PR for uh, the media pass. Much appreciated. We'll see you on the road. Twitter Under 2020, it's here. It's starting. Thank God. <laughs>